Fiercely rivaling best friends, Cheryl and Lisa, have just finished preparing their signature dishes for Chef Michael Potter's. Things are about to heat up in the competition department. It is time for the taste test. All right. I hope you like this. I think he's going to be surprised. I'm pretty wild, I know. I think Michael might think it's too simple. Whoa. That dish is freaking horrendous. That is a throwback that just <laughs> never should have happened. It's a culinary disaster. I hate the strawberries. Way too much stuff going on there. You need to simplify yourself. I was told that. Going on a seven-year-old's palate. What am I thinking? It's good. <laughs> Fish was a little bit overcooked. Christophine was really, really good. The thing that's really lacking in the dish is the presentation. It's just sort of, is it chef worthy? I'd have to say, no, it's not chef worthy from the standpoint of it being a restaurant dish. I was impressed with the fact that he ate a lot of the meal. The shortcoming does tend to be plating for me. A simple dish, well executed, is always better than a complicated dish poorly cooked. Lisa's dish was a confusion of flavors and ingredients. Cheryl's dish was simple and true to her heart. At this point, Cheryl is up, Lisa is down. But we're going into the restaurant, and it could be anybody's game. Chef Michael is taking them to the host restaurant to train under Chef Sanji Seti. If it is simplicity and presentation you want, there's no better place. Ladies, you've been so busy one-upping each other that you forgot what is important when creating really great food. Lisa, you need to simplify. You need to learn something about flavor and ingredients. Cheryl, you need to learn presentation. Now let's get in the kitchen and get started. The chefs have designed some specific challenges to test Lisa and Cheryl's skill level. This is the quietest the ladies have been since we met them. We have two tikka masala sauces here. One of them is the correct sauce that has been made with all of the ingredients that are here. What I want you to do is to smell, to taste, and to feel all of the ingredients here. And then we're gonna give you a taste of both sauces. On the count of three, I want you to tell me which is the correct sauce. One, two, three. Right. <laughs> they are right. Yeah! It was a 50-50 chance. That's right. I think they got lucky. That's true. I, mean, I added up one extra spice in the wrong one. It's called fennel seed. One because spice? Because of one spice, that changed the taste of that. Oh my God. Amazing. And the lesson that you've learned right now is going to be so important when we go into the kitchen. Cheryl and Lisa will now be challenged to create garam masala as well as the tikka masala sauce for today's menu. I think I'm gonna pull it out in this challenge. Pull it out of where? Where I are you gonna mind. pull it out of? <laughs> no, no, I, I definitely have this. Pray for me. This is the foundation, this is the sauce ingredients. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Don't fight over it. <laughs> I want. For these two white bread chicks, how are we supposed to figure that out? Oh, God! I have never seen a more crazy challenge set up in my life. You took my pan! No fighting over the pans, let's just go, okay? You guys over here are laughing, man. Huh? All right, it's all good. What are you cooking for a banquet or what? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> come on, come on, come on! Chop, chop! Well, yeah, I want my blender! Come on! All right, all right, okay. Good. Stop. This is Lisa's. Cheryl, sort this is that. your dish. You know what? You both don't get it. Skill test? Disaster. Oh. It was a complicated array of ingredients. Mm, yeah, but yeah. at least one or two things they should get right. According to yeah. me, nothing was right. Here's Michael saying, keep it simple. I have not a clue in the world then why he's bringing us both down here, and me especially. Listen, Michael, Michael, can I just ask you a question? Do you remember how you said like all of my ingredients were like really complicated and yeah, all yes, crazy yes, and everything? Uh, yeah, I remember well, that. I just don't understand, why would you bring me here to this place? This is very simple. It's the combinations that make it. It's not a difficult thing. Okay. I just want you to go in there, All right. listen, and learn. Yes, chef. Now let's see how it's really done. Chef, show us the way. We need four spoons of cumin seeds. The dish looks complicated after looking at the 20 ingredients and everything over there. Chef, show them. 
the proper way to do it. They learned a valuable lesson. They learned about ratios and combinations of spices. Have a taste. Nice. Nice. These are the skills Lisa and Cheryl will need in tonight's line of fire challenge as they prepare two dishes during dinner service. Eggplant patiala and chicken tikka masala. You're going to do the eggplant dish. Yes. You're going over and working the tandoori oven. So let's get some prep done. Make sure the fat is out and the chicken is diced into even pieces. First, okay. take it out, all right? Now you're doing it. Good concentration. We've done all the prep. Now we're going to get on the line. We're going to start cooking. Chef, please. The eggplant dish. Let's take some eggplant. Fennel seeds. Onion seeds. Add some onion. Turmeric. Chopped ginger and green chili. Cashew nuts for five reasons. A little bit of garnish. garnish with of ginger, tomato. Beautiful. So this Hold is down. your dish, okay? This is the base sauce. This is the marinated chicken yogurt, natural yogurt. To get a smoke flavor, a little bit of butter. Cover the lid. The sauce is almost ready. Green pepper and red pepper. Some garam masala. This is ready. Cheryl, this is how it's got to look, OK? Now we're ready to do service. Yeah. Two orders of eggplant, two orders Spices. of chicken tikka masala. Um, Onions. Yeah. It's going to help them. Right? Cheryl, how are you doing? You're only, you're only supposed to have one chili, OK? Oh, my god. Seriously? Yeah, come on. Guacamole. Keep it in the pan. Keep it in the pan, baby. Okay. Let's start working. Lisa is a big problem in the kitchen. First of all, it's a lot of yap, 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 yap. Not enough listening, way too much talking, and not enough working with her hands, all right? These guys are all over. She's starting to fall apart. Did you add the salt, pepper, and everything? I did add boom, 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 right there. I was terrified of that tandoor, I have to tell you. It was a fire pit, man. It was hot. Get rid of this. Come on, one more, OK? All right. Come on, Charlotte, this is how it's got to look, OK? Let's go. Come on, you got another one on the order, all right? Come on, get back to the tandoori oven. Let's move, let's move. You didn't put the bay leaf in. Put the bay leaf in. Right. Oh, oh come let's go. On, let's go. God. It's too much bay leaf. Oh, I don't why care. Cheryl like Listen. all this crap? She was floating along. People were just helping her along, you know? Everything was good for her. I was the one who was getting the strip taken out of me. Oh my God, this is burning. Okay. All right, listen. All right, I can't take it. Just give, give me a fucking break. What was that, man? Lisa lost her mind. Why is he fucking tearing to strip off of me? The number one rule of cooking is keep cool in the kitchen. With the restaurant challenge almost complete, Cheryl is still struggling with the heat, and Lisa has had a complete meltdown. Will either of these two ever be considered chef-worthy? Why is he like, um, he like this? He's not on like Cheryl. Well, Cheryl's actually doing better. 